Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to the Sarah Jane Adventures. This is the first story in um, the final season, final three, obviously. Um, it's very sad how all of this ended, um, and I know that we might not get the best conclusion to the story, like you know, most shows um, when they end will. Uh, but I am really excited to enjoy three more stories alongside you guys. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, look out. <laughs> the invisible t robot thing man oh okay or a baby what anyone leave you on a stranger's doorstep <laughs> oh. uh is it a baby with superpowers i think someone needs me to protect this baby protect them from who that's what we have to find out before they come looking for you Invisible Robot Man? Hello, Queen! My name is Miss Miles, and you're going to help me find my child. Uh-oh. 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 What are you doing? Thing I need is her blowing the car's electrics and make sure the system. Oh, Clyde! You'll be fine. You're a natural. Miss Smith is quite used to danger. Professor Rivers, Sarah Jane, oh. good to see you again. Come through, come through. Hello? No, no, no. Oh. Right. I don't know what to talk. I've seen what you put in the papers about people that have seen what I've seen. I do read them, you know. It's all right, you can trust Sarah Jane. I don't want to be able to listen to the arches now. Oh, well, what if I fix your radio for you? Will you tell me what you saw? With the big stick? Uh. I'm homeless, I'm not brainless. It won't. The big stick. How did you do that? What sort of batteries do you use in that thing? Uh. That's his clutch between you. Oh no. Thanks, Sparky. But that's jiggled. No, no, don't cry, don't cry. No, no, no. Happy baby. Uh -huh. See, I just don't know if this big invisible metal guy is good or bad. Thank you, sis. Oh, my pleasure. I think you care to come off. Never careful. Always prepared. Ah. 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 I like her. Um. Did you hear something? Clyde, be warm. careful. Feel something. Oh. Okay, he's oh, probably taking the baby right now. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, he has it. This is not good. Don't give it to him. Okay. All right. He's shooting at him. Probably not the best. Get it if you want the child to live. Who are you? Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Poor Clyde. He's in the middle of this mess. Oh my God. Now give me the child. No, no, no. Answers first. There's a thing back there, and why is it after the baby? And what are we doing here? She's just a baby. How could you even begin to understand? You might be flesh, but you are earth flesh. Just a few evolutionary twists from protozoa. Now give me my child! I don't think so. I was like, if she's so powerful, can't she just take it? How is it that the baby's not crying right now? They're gonna, they're gonna activate, and you're gonna be in some shit. Move, move, Clyde. Power 
There we go. Ah! This motherfucker. Oh my god. Oh. She's on the run. She isn't ready for this. You have to tussle. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. What the fuck? The child is your doom. Okay. Oh my god, is she gonna get- oh, she's gonna get bigger. Or, no, oh. Whatever you had planned for her, this is an innocent child, not a weapon. And I will protect her from the metal gun, and I will protect her from you. Aw, uh, this would have been a great, like, story for Luke to be a part of, I think. Mrs. Smith, I need you. What's going on? All right. Sky won't hurt you. It's depressing. Mr. Smith, how did she transform into a teenager? Sky's synthetic DNA was programmed for this level of maturity to maximize her effectiveness as a weapon, as a bomb. Uh, they're not exactly fashion, but you'll be all right. What's fashion? Well, clothes, like wearing nice clothes made for a girl. What's a girl? Oh boy. Well, Clyde thought you had a Yeah, me. this is going to be exhausting. Okay. <laughs> The thing inside you. Miss Myers created you like that to kill her enemy's metal card. Kill? What's kill? Ooh, Lord. You take away life. Can't you just diffuse her? Oh, Clyde, that brilliant. Turn off the genetic trigger. Stop her detonating. Mr. Smith, is that possible? So genetically, she would still be a weapon, but disarmed. Only Sky's creator can do that. Mrs. Smith and I could die anyway. I don't want to be a bomb. Aww. So, Jim, will you help me? Oh, she's so sweet. And I need you to stay here with Clyde and Riley. Now, do you promise me? I suppose. I suppose. Girl, we need a firm yes from you. Anyway, you promise. I don't really understand promises. Hey, wait! See? Mmm. kid's gonna get us in so much trouble. You're bringing your war to Earth. Once your flesh can experience metal kind savagery, you will realize that the child will save us all. They stole our children. We have sworn vengeance on all flesh kind. Oh boy. What would you prefer, Miss? One child or your entire world? Whoa. <laughs> Whatever you choose, Sarah Kane Smith, Sky will fulfill her destiny. Oh my god, lady, you are dramatic. Woo! We did it. We shot down the call. What happened? Well, I knew she had to go somewhere. The sky was like a lightning rod. She absorbed it all. Is she gonna be alright? Oh, okay, she's wow. not dead. I was gonna say, that could be dark as shit if she dies. <laughs> Energy backlash, it's destroyed your genetic programming. Oh, well, that's you great. Know, I'm not a weapon. Aww. I'm not a bomb anymore. Oh, Thank but this you. motherfucker's gonna. Uh oh. Uh oh. I saved some energy just for you, fresh guy. That sucks. I just want Mr. Smith to make sure that there are no ill effects from that energy blast. What? Really, Miss Smith? Oh my god! How did you get in here? I'm afraid the captain considers that privileged information. What? Can I stay here with you? 
Oh, Lord. That's what I want. Is Luke getting a sister? Oh, Sky. It's only been a day, and I feel like I've known you since you were a baby. This is your home, for as long as you want it to be. Oh, man. The most wonderful thing about the universe is that there's always something more amazing to come. Uh... Okay, now, the most awkward Skype call is gonna happen next when, like, Luke is like, who's this girl? And could be like, I don't know, I kind of, like, sort of adopted her the same way, I don't know. I don't know! I, anyway, um, this was a really, really sweet story, absolutely. I did kind of wish that Luke was involved, because I felt like he probably would have had some feelings. Wasn't well, entirely this, this a very similar situation, but there was, uh, there was some similarities, right? Um, I really, really enjoyed, uh, that a lot. Very, very sweet story. Um, and a kind of, again, with the heavy, uh, um, topic of wars and, and both sides thinking they're right. And I don't know, that's, that's kind of crazy that they really do touch on that stuff a lot. Anyway, yeah. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!